Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we have with us the Huawei MateView GT, Huawei's first ultra-wide gaming display with a 165Hz refresh rate. This is a 34-inch curved display with a 3K resolution. Not only that, it has an integrated soundbar that delivers some pretty great audio. Now, a very special thank you to Huawei for sending this out to me for this review. Uh, if you guys want to know more about it, I'll leave all the links to the product in the description below. Now, let's talk about what you get inside the box. Now, this box is pretty huge. After all, it's a 34-inch screen. Inside, the first thing that you'll notice is a box full of cables. You get some USB-C cables, a display cables, some quick guides and warranty cards, and also a USB-C power adapter. So next up, you'll find the monitor stand that as mentioned is directly integrated with the soundbar. You can connect this directly to the back of the monitor while it's still in the box and just lift up the whole monitor together. Now, I must say in terms of user experience and design, the whole setup process was really well thought out by Huawei. From getting the accessories out of the way at the start of the unboxing, all the way to getting the monitor stand to snap into the monitor before raising it up as a whole, all these things were considered by Huawei and I think it's something I haven't seen in many other products, so good job on that Huawei. Now, on the back of the monitor, there are several ports. Firstly, a USB-C power outlet, two HDMI inputs, a display port, a USB-C outlet, and an audio jack. Now, for those who love a simple setup, you can connect the monitor directly to your laptop, just like what I've done with the Huawei MateBook 14. Not only does it seamlessly connect, but it also charges the laptop at the same time. So let's talk about the feature of this monitor that really makes it stand apart from all the other monitors out there, which is the soundbar. Now this is an easy way to use speakers with your computer without having to actually buy speakers. There is a touch sensitive volume control that also doubles as a mood light with several variations of lighting patterns. But first, the question on everyone's mind, does this speaker sound good and can it truly replace a standalone speaker system? Now, the sound that comes from these speakers are decent, some might say good. The best way I could describe it is that it sounds like a really good portable speaker with a little less bass. Now, don't get me wrong, it sounds great, but compared to my usual speakers, the Bose Companion 5s, it just isn't in the same league. Of course, the Bose Companion speakers have an accompanying subwoofer, so this is really a question of what you need. A compact setup with an integrated speaker, or a full desk setup that could be more expensive and take up more space than you have. Now, part of the experience of this speaker is the touch sensitive volume control that doubles as mood lighting. The controls are reactive, but sometimes would need a double tap just to wake up the system. As for the lighting effects, you can choose from over 8 visual effects with different settings and colors, and these options are the static mode, the breathing mode, a colorful mode, the single wave as well as the ripple wave, the colorful flow and colorful ripple and lastly the flowing waves. Now I'm not going to go through all of these visual effects, you kind of get the idea of what they do um, but it is an interesting feature that they've added into the soundbar. So let's talk about some other great features of this monitor. Now, firstly, it has really slim bezels and a nice matte black finish, which I think makes it look very elegant, very sleek, and overall a very premium product. In terms of specs, I love the wide aspect ratio as always, and it comes with a 3K resolution, which means all your images look crispy, sharp, and the colors honestly look great. Now, of course, we also have to talk about some of the not so great features. Now, firstly, the speakers that are attached to the monitor stand will not work if you use a third-party monitor arm. The speaker stand needs to be directly connected to the back of the monitor for it to work. So that's something you have to consider in case you're one of those people who wants to use a wall mount or a separate monitor arm. Now, the other thing that I wish they could have integrated with the soundbar was some sort of lighting effect that could sync up with music or something more interactive. Now, this is somewhat of a missed opportunity that could have been easily integrated into the system. Possibly Huawei could develop this in a subsequent firmware update. Right now, the light just goes on and off without any reactiveness or any reason. 
So that's all I have to say about this product. I hope it's been informative for you guys. If you guys want to know more, do check out the Huawei website for more information. A big thank you to them once again for sending this out to me for this review. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.